in Video Imagisto. If you've been keeping up with the tech industry recently, you'd know that generative AI is this massive buzzword that's getting tossed around recently. From what I've heard, a lot of the so-called revolutionary tools in this space aren't really as impressive as you'd think. So I decided to get some first-hand experience to see for myself. Today I'm going to be discussing my experiences with Magisto and InVideo. One of these tools was vastly superior to the other, so keep watching to find out some truly important info that can change content creation for good. Oh, and also, if you haven't signed up for NVIDIA AI yet, you can use my link down below to try it for free. Okay, so first things first, let's talk pricing. Money makes the world go round, right? And if you want to use a generative AI that actually provides some type of value, that'll probably cost a fair chunk of change. Now, in the case of NVIDIA and Magisto, I was pleasantly surprised to see how accommodating they were in terms of price. Like, you know, there are some expensive tiers as well, but by and large, these tools aren't just trying to line their own pockets, so I'm giving them a point right off the bat for that. In video, by the way, even has a free version that you can try, and I really felt like this tier offered more than enough value for casual users. However, if you're serious about upping your content output, you might want to consider the pricier tiers. The business tier is the most popular, and in my experience, it offered a solid set of features that justified the $30 month asking price. Oh, and you can get a 50% discount if you pay for the year. That's only 180 bucks for the year's worth of the business tier, which comes up at $15 a month. The same discount applies to the unlimited package too, which is best suited to teams and agencies that want to leverage these tools to produce content for clients. It costs 60 bucks a month, but you can bring that down to just 30 bucks if you pay for a whole year up front. That's $360 to gain access to the unlimited plan for an entire year, which is ridiculous ridiculously cheap if you ask me. Magisto's pricing tiers aren't too shabby either, though one gripe I did have was that Magisto doesn't offer a free version. If you want to use its features, you'll need to fork over the cash. Now, not everyone can afford to pay these rates, so I'm going to deduct half a point here. It would have been a whole point, but Magisto did have the good sense to offer a free trial at the very least. Anyway, Magisto has three pricing tiers to choose from, and the cheapest one is even more affordable than NVIDIA's lowest price tier if we ignore the free version. I'm talking about Magisto's premium plan, which costs $9.99 a month. Oh, a, a small note here. I really don't like it when companies do the whole 99 cents thing instead of the whole dollar shtick. So I'll be rounding up Magisto's pricing for the rest of this video. I didn't have to do that with InVideo because they seem to be less deceptive about their pricing. So that's basically meaning that it's 10 bucks a month for Magisto's premium tier. And there's also, by the way, a professional plan for 20 bucks a month. The most expensive tier is the business plan, which is for $70 a month, although that's mostly for business owners and might not be ideal for individual content creators. All things considered, I'm giving InVideo a 5 out of 5 for their affordable pricing and the massive discount you get for paying annually. Magisto gets a 4 out of 5 because their pricing wasn't ridiculous, but you know, it wasn't great either. Up next, I'm going to compare their features. I'm going to be upfront with you here. Magisto was a bit out of its depth in this department. Like it offers a total of 38 features, and while they might be pretty decent, NVIDIA's feature list is 48 items long, which should tell you a thing or two about where I'm going with this. When I started to go through NVIDIA's features, the first thing that jumped out to me was the natural language processing. Now, <laughs> This is some pretty sophisticated stuff right here, so I was definitely impressed. You see, with natural language processing, you can basically just talk to the generative AI like it's a real person. I mean, you still have to do a bit of prompt engineering, but in a way, you have to do that with people too. Like, have you ever tried to give your video team instructions? You need to outline their instructions in a consumable, digestible way. That's basically how much effort you'd need to put into InVideo as well. But one thing's for sure, you'll never feel like you're talking to an AI. This ability to communicate your instructions naturally is a big plus, but it's not the only thing InVideo's got going for it. There's also social media integration, and we all know how important that can be. A lot of the content that you make is expressly for various social social media platforms, and with InVideo by your side, you can keep the flow going strong and have your audience hooked to your output schedule. InVideo just makes all of this super easy, and it also has a bunch of other features that can make video creation an absolute breeze as well, like I'm talking video stabilization, which is great 
for when you have shaky footage. Oh, and voice generators to create some narration for your content. In a way, InVideo is replacing a bunch of other services you'd have to pay for, which goes a long way towards justifying its pricing. I'm not trying to say that Magisto's useless over here. It has an impressive content library and a content management system to give you an overview of what gets uploaded when. And with its customizable branding feature, you'll have no trouble creating sponsored videos. They're an essential stream of revenue for creators nowadays, what with AdSense dollars going down by the day. So this feature is definitely something I appreciate. You'll also have animated and audio capture, two features that allow you to diversify your content and streamline its production. Oh, and there's an amazing engagement tracking feature too, which allowed me to see how each video performed. You know, that's an important part of optimizing your output because you never know how your audience might feel about a particular piece of content. Yep, Magisto is bringing some innovation to the table, no doubt about that. But get this, InVideo offers all of these features, plus a whole lot more. Like, remember the natural language processing and other features I talked about? Well, Magisto doesn't have any of those, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You'll also get the ability to search inside each video, multi-language support, and personalized recommendations. To be fair, Magisto has some unique features as well, such as behavior tracking and social media monitoring, but that just doesn't make up for the features it lacks. Given all this, I'm giving InVideo another five out of five. I just can't justify a lower score here. Magisto gets a 4.5 out of 5, only because it was up against a beast of a tool. That brings their totals to 10 and 8.5 respectively. It's a close race, but we still have one final match up before I can give you my verdict. I'm talking about deployments, training and support. Now, I will say this about Magisto. They take their deployments very seriously. Like, you don't just get the web-based deployment. If you want to use the tool as a mobile app, you have options for both Android and iOS available. InVideo wasn't able to offer mobile support, but it made up for it with its desktop deployments. Honestly, that might actually be better because a lot of the heavy lifting with video creation happens on desktop anyway. As far as training is concerned, InVideo offers in-person and live online training, both of which can help you get some hands-on experience. Magisto's performance here was rather hmm, lackluster because I had to make do with pre-recorded training videos and documentation. Finally, with customer support, InVideo came on top once again. It provided phone support with live reps that you can access at any time of the day, and with Magisto you only get basic email support and a knowledge base. I'm feeling a 4 out of 5 for InVideo here, and a 3.5 out of 5 for Magisto. That brings their final totals to 14 and 12 out of 5. So drum roll please! Thank you! InVideo is my official pick! In the end, InVideo just offers better features at an affordable price. It's as simple as that really. Magisto isn't terrible, I know I will say that it didn't really frustrate me at any point. Overall, it has a decent set of features, and the pricing isn't too bad either. The only deciding factor was that InVideo is, well, better? That's why it has my vote of confidence. Although, if you still feel like trying Magisto out, more power to you. Also, if you haven't signed up for InVideo AI yet, you can use my link down below to try it for free. So, what do you think? Will you try either of these AI video generation tools anytime soon? Let me know your thoughts if you do. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!